This schematic software that you are taking a look at here is amazing. Why? First, the schematic software you can get it totally for free from the link in the video description or the link on my bio if in case you are watching this on TikTok. This schematic software makes it easy for iPhone technicians, for those who are repairing iPhones, to be able to easily find the component that is related to a particular fault in the mobile PCB. You need to keep in mind that the schematic software is for bit mapping only, but when it comes to iPhones in this schematic, iPhone bit mapping in this schematic software, they have made it special in a way that it shows you and tells you that, okay, if this IC is bad, then if this IC is bad, you will get this particular fault in the mobile PCB. So let's take a closer look here. Like I said, you can download the tool from the video description and the tool has a password. You will get the password also on my website. And also at the end of the video, I will show you how you can set up. I'm not going to review everything. Let's just do this quick because the tool is very simple. The user interface is very simple. This is an iPhone 11 bit mapping, bit mapping PCB. If you take a look, you will see that it points out to these two ICs and says damage to backlight both chip can cause high current or no backlight in a mobile PCB. Very simple, which means if you are opening this phone to troubleshoot backlight problem, you know exactly where to do, where to go after checking to confirm that the screen is okay, confirm that the connector is okay. And the scariest thing about this is that if you click any of these, it shows the, the connection, right? That's the main thing for bit map, bit mapping. That's the main thing for bit mapping. That's what bit mapping is all about. It shows you the connection, and this will add this extra information to tell you the function of ICs, the type of fault that a phone can get, even in case the, this particular IC has a problem. Even capacitors. If you check this one, you see this capacitor right here. It says damage capacitor causes charging failure. So if this capacitor is shorting, you will get charging failure. The phone might fail to charge. It's not a might. The phone will definitely fail to charge if this particular capacitor has a problem. And also, you check here. It shows the chip damage inductor with poor soldering station. So this software is a Chinese software, but so the the English text in the the software is not that accurate. It's not that perfect due to the translation. But that's how it is. If you check, if you come to this other side, if you come to this other side, you will see damage to display IC can cause no display. You see, it shows the display IC, shows this coil right here. Display, shows this coil right here. Display both inductor drop, the phone can cause soldering loose. So what they're talking about right here is actually open circuit that they're talking about. Like I said, this is a Chinese software, so the English is not that perfect. So they're talking about you dropping the phone, if you drop the phone, this inductor might get an open circuit. The inductor is in the display circuit of the mobile PCB, like you see, display bus inductor, which means that if this inductor has a problem, the phone will have easy displaying, right? So let's go to other models. Okay, we have an Android PCB right here. You can automatically see that it doesn't come with all the, the, the additional notes, right? The additional information. So for those of us who are repairing Android phones, you get the bit mapping for free. You get everything here for free. So this is what the Android bit mapping is like. It doesn't have the additional information like iPhones that tells you that okay, if this component is bad, this IT is bad, you will get this type of fault. But you use this, the bit mapping to do troubleshooting, track lines in the mobile PCB and know how you can do jumper in a mobile PCB. The the tool is very smooth. For you to register, it's very simple. All you have to do is download the tool from the video description. Like I said, when you install it, you open it, you can see register, put your username, put your nickname, put your email address, and also you put your password, right? So when you put your password, then you, you see the verify code. Click on send, and they're going to send you a verification code to your email. And you will use the, the, the code, you will input the code in the space that you see right there. When you get the code, you just put the code there. And just like that, very simple. When you get the code, you put it there. After putting the code, then hit on register. When you hit on register, you go back to the login screen. Then you input the, 
you input the, the in, information that you just created 